in the building. I'll wait till a few of you join me. Try to get some water. Hopefully my bone won't act up tonight, y'all. Got some holy water for them demons that be coming on my lives. Sneaking over here. It's fine. Got some holy water for them demons that be coming on my lives. Sneaking over here. It's fine. Got some holy water for them demons that be coming on my lives. Sneaking over here. It's fine. Alright, so water for them demons that be coming on my lives. Sneaking over here. It's fine. Alright, so let's get to it. Sneaking over here. It's fine. Alright, so let's get to it. Let's get ready to rumble. Alright, so let's get to it. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all so let's jump right into it so as you guys know yesterday we were talking about what's trending okay which is diddy and the allegations um against him because remember until proven guilty then okay but i know the evidence is stacked pretty high against uh, Mr. Combs at this point. Hi, Osmond. Hi, Terry. Hi, Juliet. Hi, Angel. Hey, Symbiant. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Star. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Beverly. So, I was just going over a recap from last night. We all know what's trending. We all know what's been going on. Um, oh, God. And the blogs, I mean, the evidence that has been coming out is pretty, pretty sensational, for a better word of it. Um, you know, it's quite astounding that this has been going on for so long, right up under our noses. So, you know, now that he's out of power, I, I, would, I should say, who will be taking over? You know what I mean? Hopefully this is a rude awakening to all of them that were participating in it or that was his friends or whatever um so if they were looking at him I'm damn sure they were going to be looking at you if you were <laughs> if you were you know in cahoots his friend or whatever like that um there's a no tolerant we're not having it they'll follow you for the next 50 years if they have to to get the right evidence on you so be mindful all right so as I was scrolling through today, I noticed that um, we have Rick Ross's baby's mama, which is Tia Kemp, was making some pretty, pretty <laughs> strange allegations, okay? Uh, she stated that um, she believes that her baby father has a on her, okay? Wants her to be uh, removed, offed, for a better word. Um, well, I'll just tell you this, um, oft, for a better word, um, well, I'll just tell you this, uh, Miss Kemp. Now, we know that you guys have been going back and forth for quite a while. You do, got, you guys do share a child in common, um, but that hasn't stopped you from your tirades and your rants, and that has not stopped him from his tirades and his rants. Now, it's escalated to the point where you're in fear for your life. Well... I would breathe easy. I think you have nothing to worry about at this time, being that, you know, the Fed is really on shit right now. I don't think anybody would be stupid enough <laughs> to try to order anything, okay? Even lunch, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I don't think you have anything to worry about um, as far as that, because you would have to be psycho to even offer anybody money to do anything of that sort, knowing that you possibly could be being watched. So I think you can sleep at night and rest easy that um, I don't think anything's gonna happen with that. Now, like I said, if, if, if that person did say that and was giving people money to do that to you, then um, you've got to be a damn fool to do that. 
because with the situation that's full blown right now and God only knows who's on that, those tapes and who was friends and who was hanging out, they've got all of that on camera too. So I really wouldn't worry about, um, you know, anybody doing anything like that to you. I think that's a little drastic, okay? But you know how the world works and if these people were coming back telling you that this person was paying for that, then, you know, that's, that's not good. Because like I said, shit's hit the van and you would have to be really, really slow to do something like that, to just, hey, let me give you a couple of bucks to go do something like that. Now, I thought he was a smart businessman, so I don't know, you know what I mean? But if if he would do something like that, you've got to be asking to get sent up creek because you'd have to be a fool to do that. All right, so hopefully you have nothing to worry about. Um, <laughs> I don't know who's going to go down first, him or you, girl, because, you know, everybody has a story to tell. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's going to. You guys have been battling it out for almost, what, a year now? We've been hearing you and your baby's father going back and forth, back and forth. So, I don't know. Maybe he's just tired and wants you to, to be quiet and let him live his life. Um, which I know you're doing to a point, but, you know. It just gets tiring. All right, so hopefully you have nothing to worry about. Um, you know, like I said, he would have to be <laughs> demanding to go where Diddy is if he did plan something like that on you or anybody for that matter. You would, At this time, I think everyone should be laying low and keeping quiet as best of their ability and possibly even um, calling their lawyers to make sure that you know, they're good. Because when Diddy starts rapping and singing, all hell is going to break loose, okay? And I said singing. When he starts singing them tunes and talking about who was involved, it's going to get crazy, y'all. Because there's no way in hell that he is a family, he has children. And, you know, I wouldn't take, like I said last night, I wouldn't take the fall either. You know, I, if I'm going down, you have to go down with me, you know? That's just the way it is. Hi, Digital. Hi, Willie. Hi, Mel. So, um, hi, Linda. Thank you guys for joining. So, I just feel like, um, you know, I wouldn't worry about that, honestly. If, if you think that he's going to do something to you or he would have to be a fool to try something like that right now. Now, maybe a couple of months ago he might have. I don't know. But you're saying as of recently, people have been <laughs> coming and telling you, um, you know, get but. Be ready so you don't have to get ready and, um, you know, just in case. But like I said, you would have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to do something like that, knowing that things are so hot on the block right now. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even sneeze inappropriately right now. You know what I mean? I would, I would definitely play it cool, okay? Hi, Mike. Hi, cutie. Hey, Dennis. So, um, Tia, I'm wishing you the best. Um, <laughs> I'm sure, <he laughs> I'm sure he's just tired of you talking shit and you have that right to do that. You can do that. You know what I mean? You can express your anger. You can express whatever you want to, and you shouldn't have fear of being, um, handled in that way where you will never speak again. I wouldn't want that for anybody. You also stated that you had evidence into other things that had transpired with um another person passing away so this is some very detrimental um information and like i said just you know i know social media can sometimes you have you saying things and talking but you know just be mindful you never know who's listening and you never know who's gonna come and knock at your door and start asking questions so i hope that you're prepared um, if need be to, um, back up what you're saying as well. Okay. If that's the case, if you, if you knew something like that happened and didn't really come forward, then that's kind of, you know, but I know the world you guys live in. It's, you know, hi Trex. Hi Cliff. Hi, good auntie. Hi blonde. All right. So again, I wish you the best. Uh, I know you have your children to take care of and, um, you know, I wish you the best, you know. All right, moving on along, y'all. Hello, hello, Cece. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Yes, I'm a little late. 
I'm a little late. I'm a little late. All right, so let's move on along. Um, I had already said what I had to say about um, Tia, so we're going to slide that onto the side for tonight, okay? Um, she is also naming other people that alleged uh, by that young man that was picked up. I think his name was Jonathan Arden, which is already in police custody. He's already been questioned and interviewed. Uh, I'm sure he gave out some pretty good information as well. Um, so those names she's calling out, I'm sure that they have those names on the Rasta. Okay. Like I said, they if they've been watching for over 20 years almost, then they've watched a lot of these people. And we've already had a lot of people stepping down already. From the last I heard, it was 18. Uh, music executives, um, CEOs, doctors, gosh, probably lawyers. I'm sure the list goes on and on. Corruption. Um, it seems like it was a whole, whole little, I don't know. It seemed like a whole community of these people, probably pedos and everything was all in on that stuff, y'all. I'm sure it goes deep. And like I said, you don't have to worry about turning anybody in because I'm sure they've already got it down, who was doing what, when, and where, okay? So rest assured that justice will be served and justice will be had. It's a new day, bitches. What can I say? Hey, um, <laughs> hey, Nick Chia. Hello, hello. So it is a new day, and um, the sooner everybody accepts that, then I think everybody will get along just fine moving along okay um but on the diddy situation yeah they were saying that people have already been stepping down which i don't blame you I, I if i was on any of those tapes or videos i would step down too and probably run to a different country possibly one that you don't need a passport and just you know make the best of it you know made a mess of your life here hey della but my thing is with something so large as that going on how could well, they did know. They were watching. So they did know. They were watching. Because I was going to say, how could they let this go on for so long? But see, when you're dealing with the feds, you have to have a solid case. You can't go in front of that, in front of that um, DA or whatever and say, oh, uh, we think. No, bitch, you better have some good damn evidence. Especially when you're dealing with high-powered people like this who have money and who have friends of a friend of a friend of a friend. They know how to make you shut up, okay? They know how to, but right now, like I said, if anyone is in fear for their life or anything like that, you shouldn't be because you will probably be watched or probably have been watched. So if they're dumb enough to try to go, thank you for liking the live. Hey, Mayor. If they're actually doing something that stupid and risky, which we know what's been going has on has been stupid and risky. But if they're willing to take that risk now to keep you quiet, then yeah, they're definitely going to get caught. Definitely. That's a win-win, honey. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> um, so let's move right along. So enough about Diddy, okay? Because I'm really, really tired of hearing it. The last I heard, they had uh, compensated from the home. And this is just allegedly, because I don't want to be making up nothing, but I'm just telling you allegedly what I've seen on the internet and what I've heard, okay? 784 play ding-dongs were apprehended from one of the homes. You know, the, the thousand bottles of oil was also, I mean, what, what were you guys really, whoa, this is some sick shit, y'all. This is. This is really bad. I'm gonna just be honest with you. This is really, really bad. And then, you know, just to think about you, that person, you, you may have to possibly spend the rest of your life in prison. You throw me in there with, in the, to the men's prison, honey, because ain't none out here. We have to go to the prison and get them, child. Child. Don't throw me in there, but I'm just saying. <laughs> To get a day and they, they ain't nothing but the worst of the worst honey but people do make mistakes okay but that ain't this ain't no mistake this is not a mistake this is this is sick okay this is not a mistake 
all this stuff that's been going on. Okay, now if you go if you guys go back and watch Jaguar White, what's her name? Jaguar? Jaguar Wright, excuse me for mispronouncing that. You will go back and see that this woman had the I'll say the balls. Because she's a woman and she don't even have balls. Hi Maria. She doesn't even have balls. And she came out and was telling the truth. Telling everything that, you know, was going on and was happening. So kudos to you, girl, for having the strength when no one else did. And then Cat Williams came out and backed her up. And then after that, you know, people started falling in line and backing her up. But that had to take a lot of guts. Because like she said, she was pretty much being hunted. You know, these people have money and they can they can do things. They can pull strings to, to get you taken care of. Believe you me. Okay? But she had the strength and she went through her time. They even locked her up, I think, at one point. So she went through her time, She, but she had the guts to stand up. And that's how we all should be, have the guts to stand up for what's right and not what's wrong, okay? And she almost lost her life playing with these people out here because, like, you know, they have money. They can do things. They can pay people to do things. They can send people to... God only knows, child. So it's a miracle that she's still alive to see this 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 judgment day, to see everything that's happening. Hi, Nevea. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jackie. So it's amazing to see that, you know, she had the strength and the courage. Because a lot of people, they've stayed silent for years. They've taken the abuse for years. They haven't said anything for years. They've been traumatized, um, degraded. You know, and then to add injury to insult, everything was recorded. So that's basically like extortion. So if you don't do what I tell you to do, then I'm going to show the videotape. Can you imagine living like that? Someone having evidence over you and you, you know what I mean? And in this case, you know it. Now, it's different for people who go and record you and you don't even know that they're doing that. You know, I've heard of people doing that, recording people, and you don't even know that they're doing that. But that is illegal. You cannot do that. Okay, so let's see here, y'all. We're going to jump off of him because it just nauseates me and it really, really makes me sick. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. So it really, really makes me sick. And I don't want to talk about him anymore. Um, you know, I hope that the victims, far and wide receive the justice that they deserve the victims now like i said anybody who was willingly playing a part in it then you deserve to get in trouble too and ain't no heaven or hell gonna stop the judgment that's about to come on y'all motherfucking asses so be ready okay all right first i want to say again i want to tell you guys um what's his name Hold on, y'all. Frankie Beverly. I'm sorry. He passed away and they had his funeral in New Orleans. What a show out. Now, that's how you do it, y'all. What a beautiful, beautiful turnout they had for him. So, rest in peace, okay. Frankie. Frankie um, is going on. But they sure put him away nicely in New Orleans. So, shout out to New Orleans for that. You guys definitely did your big one on that. And you guys know they also buried uh, Rich Homie Kwan this week as well on the 17th of September. So, rest in peace, uh, gentlemen. Um, it's just a process of life, y'all. Okay, we all have to cross that bridge and we all are gonna go down one day. Okay? All right, so let's move on. All right, let's get into my shows because y'all know I do my little shows, honey. And I'm gonna talk my shit. Okay, I'm gonna talk my shit. All right. So, let's get into... Uh, what is that? Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I'm kind of getting tired of y'all. You're really starting to bore me with the same old raggedy storylines. The same old shit. But let's get into what I want to talk about, okay? Alright, so we had um, Zell had his baby shower. So congratulations, Zell, on the new addition coming to your family and to your baby's mama. Congratulations to you guys, okay? Um, so he had a baby shower and hey, Kayla, hey, Valerie, and, um, Carly Red was there. 
Lord, poor Carly. <laughs> Carly Red was there, and um, a couple of other castmates were there. And I guess Carly was talking about how her and them, I guess, had fell out, okay? Which is Carly always falling out with somebody. And that's why Carly, at this stage and at this point, why haven't you gone to take boxing lessons or some jujitsu or something, okay? So when somebody comes at you, you can at least defend yourself, okay? But it's love and hip hop. I know y'all gonna do the talking. Maybe you really can't get physical on that show because I see a lot of y'all popping, but I don't see no hands flying. And the ones that do wanna pop, you're silent when that happens, okay? But we gonna come back. We are gonna rewind that back, okay? Hey, Renika. So, um, Carly was stating that uh, her friend, I think her friend's name is Jessica. She was staying in one of her units. Her and Bam went to go see her. You can see on the video, which can be used as evidence, Carly goes through the gate and then Bam just slides through the gate. Okay, and then she hits the thing, the gate lever, and it tore it up, okay? <laughs> now, I would say that they're both responsible. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna say they're both responsible. They're both responsible because number one, Carly, you didn't tell Bam that, um, girl, hold on, you gotta wait, I got you didn't tell her that. You just lunged forward and then she went to like following you, like, okay just what any other person would would definitely do you know what i mean so i mean i feel like you both are responsible to fix that even though you said you paid the money out but i don't think it was that much money that you would need to get a lawyer i think well you did say you were trying to contact her or whatever okay so you tried to contact her she didn't answer so then when you guys get to the baby shower um you're telling what happened but it was just the way for me like she kind of came off which you like Oh, bitch, da 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 Now, I'd love to see that same energy when you're interacting with Erica and she's talking to you. I want to see you interact with that same energy. I think y'all take advantage of Carly because y'all know really that Carly can't bust a grape. She's not going to bust a grape. That's probably just not who she is, okay? But love to pop shit with other people who are weaker and can't really do shit, it seems like. Or probably just won't do shit, okay? Um... So, Carly, get you some lessons, honey, and, and get these hoes straight, okay? First and foremost. Number two, all you guys had to do was sit down and talk about the gate because it did break. She does have it on video. If you know as a grown woman that you um, went through the gate and you broke it, then you should have been in touch with her as a responsible adult and said, hey, girl, you know, I know what happened. Especially if she's trying to call you and tell you, hey, girl, this happened, da, 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 then why wouldn't you reach back out to her and say, hey, Carly, you know, I did go through it, but you didn't tell me, so you're at fault, too. So both of you bitches are at fault, point blank, period, okay? So all of that, no. And then at the baby shower, you guys get to go in again. No respect to the man, and this woman is having a baby shower. You take your iPhone and throw it. Now, why would you go take an expensive iPhone and throw it? Do that even make sense? No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, um, and that's I'm, I'm I'm writing this down too. So the first person you got into it with with Amy, but Amy is about that business. So I don't think she gonna play with nobody. And now it's Carly. But Carly always gets into it with everybody because they know Carly can't fight. So Carly gonna sit there just like a puppet and play her script or play her role. But Carly, you can't keep coming on here giving us the same stuff. Okay. You gonna have to eventually learn self-defense and get yourself together that way when they come up in your face calling you all type of bitches and and trying to check you and act nasty towards you you can be like oh bitch uh-uh and get to snatching them wigs and get to doing whatever you need to do we need more okay from you carly we need more all right now nothing like i said no one is really busting a grape they're just doing a lot of talking which is expected it is a show i'm not saying that but carly i just need you to act like you're not scared okay Thank you. Then, also at the baby shower, another thing that I noticed was that her friend Jessica. Now, were you trying to talk about Carly to Shikana? I don't know. It sounded like you were saying, oh, she wasn't being a friend to me. I have problems. And she, Bitch, she let you stay in one of her properties. What do you mean? I'm confused. So, please, on the next episode, 
reiterate what you're talking about because we want to know what are you exactly talking about when she gave you one of her properties to stay in and now you're not cool now y'all not friends so you done turned on her too come on girl slow your roll all right get get it together because we don't even really know why you on there okay i think it's because of carly but i don't really see anything that what is your significance of being on that show okay let's just keep it real here and i'm about the truth the way in the righteousness and i'm gonna break it down and i'm gonna tell you the truth hi rover hey nora okay i just don't know what you're doing on there now we know you were screwing a famous guy but what is your point of being on there that's all i'm saying all right and then you're gonna turn on carly after she done helped you and got you on the show and let you laid up in her property and gave you a house to damn live in you know what i'm saying people won't do that for you nowadays honey not even your family so people will not do that for you just be like oh here's the keys you get and then you on here talking about her like come on all right so i'm done with that okay oh and chaotic we saw him riding off in the ambulance i don't know if it was hot in the house or if he got overheated or if he was drunk but we hope that you're okay sir okay we know this is taped beforehand okay all right, so let's get it back into um, the next little episode of what I wanted to talk about. I did see Carlissa on her shit this week about a video. I didn't even really get to watch it because I just be scrolling, y'all. And I didn't even want to stop and, and mention anything about what I've already talked about. And that's just her apologizing to her grandson because, you know, and now that he's diagnosed, you know, with a disability, you know, just being, and I know they have to work it out, and they will. I, I believe that they will, because I really don't feel like she's, I just don't get the vibe. I don't get the vibe that Carlissa is a really malicious, nasty person. I just don't feel like that, okay, or, or a hateful, I asked you to go to bed, or a hateful person. I just don't feel that. Now, she may talk her shit and stuff like that, yeah. But just to be a nasty female or a nasty grandmother, no. But she has said some stuff that was nasty. She has. But not... You understand what I'm saying? As Let's just take as of Tokyo Tony. She, I would say she's malicious. I would say she can be vindictive. I can say she seems to be very hateful. Now, I don't know her personally, but from what she protrudes, what she shows the world, okay? And that's all. Now, um... Hey, Osman. Thank you for joining. Hey, Priscilla. Thank you. Hey, Tommy. So, um, I feel like in my heart that her and Koshan will find a way to meet somewhere in the middle. But it needs to be them and no one else needs to get into their business. Okay. Um, that's their situation. And I don't need Cloud over here because I got God. So whatever they got going on is what they got going on between them. And I just feel like they will resolve it. And I feel like one day, Krishan Jr. will get his apology. He will. And I think she'll be a good grandmother. Now, I'm not telling Krishan to go take her baby over there and drop him off and leave her. No. But they will be able to meet up for lunch with the baby. Hey, go to bed. They will be able to meet up for lunch and, and talk with each other and have the grandbaby there and she can hold him. And so I do believe that that's coming one day. OK, but you have to take accountability, Carlissa, for what you said and your actions. OK, and we're not making it a big deal because it's not a big deal, because like I said, that's between y'all family. But I'm just giving my opinion on how I think it should be handled. OK. Cause I watched her push him out, okay? The whole world watched her push him out. So we have a little affinity, a little soft spot for that little young man. And then we know his, you know, with back and forth, the parents going into jail and stuff like that. So we know it's it's been hard, okay? All right, hey, Dolly. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's your grandson and that's his mother. And I believe that they'll work it out. They will work it out. They're going to be just fine, okay? Let's move on to Basketball Wives because I ain't going to be on here all night, y'all. I got things to do. <laughs> so, um, let's talk about Basketball Wives because y'all know I be jumping from show to show. Just giving my little input and my little insight. 
So on the last one we had where Brandy blew up, she was just so over these girls. She got really, really emotional. She was so over these girls talking about her marriage and her husband. I guess he had some infidelity issues. Um, and I was wondering why is it that she felt so triggered every time somebody mentioned her marriage? You know what I mean? Why is it that you're so triggered? You know, and then it came out on the next episode that she was sitting down talking to her husband, which to me should have been a private conversation, but I don't know. I, these scripts, somebody need to help me out with these scripts that y'all be doing because I just don't understand why would that even be on the show? You talking personally to your husband saying that you want to, not a divorce, but you're going to be in LA doing a movie, but he can pretty much go on about his business. Why would you need to do that on the show? Now, if you could have done that in private and then came back on the show and just said, let the girls know that, hey, you know what? I'm taking a break from my husband. We're just going to take some time apart. Um, but no, you, you played out the whole scene, right, on TV. And yeah, we want you guys to be authentic. We, we want you guys to be real. But when is the point of privacy? Like, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it was just a bit much, okay? It, it was just a bit much. Hey, Claude. Hey, Miss Lynn. It was just a point of um, too much. Uh, I think that that should have been something that was saved for a personal time, you know, okay? You were letting the whole world know that. You finna say, turn him loose. But he's also a cheater, okay? But maybe he'll learn his lesson, you know? Because he, he is fine, girl. <laughs> I ain't lying, girl. He's fine, okay? But, you know, you know what you want to deal with in your marriage. And um, if you can't take it no more, then you just can't take it no more. So kudos. I have to say kudos still to being strong and to, to you know, having the strength to move on and say, well, you know what? Enough is enough. But enough. when was enough enough? When the girls started talking about it or because you seem to be fine before that and then like I said I don't I don't know if you still needed healing and maybe that's why it was triggering you so much and then you're like well this is all his fault you know da, da, da. but just be mindful before you make decisions just think about it I know you've been through a lot we all know that marriages you have the ups and you have the downs for God's sakes but you got to remember you if you go get another one out there he may cheat too and you've thrown away all these years, you know. It, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, Lisey Kate. Hey, Glenn. Hi, Ruthie. What are you doing over there with that dog, girl? Um. So, I just feel like, you know, think about it. You know, take your time on what you want to do. Uh, think about it and, you know. Maybe a little separation for a little while will do you some good. I can honestly say that because if it's still triggering you, then it still hurts. Maybe you can go to therapy alone and just talk about your feelings. But as far as talking about it with the other women, no, I wouldn't do that. Because it seems like everything that you guys say on there, you guys use it against each other in some way or another. Okay. Hey, Erlene. Hey, Nanette. Hey, Williams. Hi, Rose. So, um... I would definitely take some time to myself if I felt that way. Okay, because you want it, if you're going to be in a marriage, you want it to be healthy and you want it to be happy. All right, and um, we know the reunion will be coming up this Monday, and I will definitely be staying tuned. Okay, uh, my eyes will be poked right in it to see what's going to go down. All right, all right, so we're going to move on, y'all. All right, so. Let me flop back over to um, Love and Hip Hop real quick. Hey, Aunt Joyce. So, uh-uh. I told you to go to bed. It's late. Yeah, it's go to bed. So, um, back over to uh, Love and Hip Hop, okay? Now, we saw the part. Let's just say I saw the part when Jock and when Kendra was going in on Jock. Now, Jock, please don't make me a liar, okay? I've said you were a good father, 
I was hoping a good man because it seemed like you had turned yourself around. You know, you had gotten married. And it's not even about, oh, she's successful, she's rich. And uh, there's a lot of rich women out here, a lot of successful women out here, okay? If you married her, you love her for her. And if she married you, she married you for you. For you. But one thing I can tell you that men do not like is when you sit up and threaten to divorce him every time you guys get into an argument, like you the bee's knees, okay? Eventually, one day, he's going to be like, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Go ahead and divorce me. Because don't no man want to hear you throwing up divorce, divorce, divorce every time they get into an argument or every time some shit goes down. Now, if you feel that way, then just do it. But the threatening, the, oh, I'm going to divorce you. If you was in that woman, like you punking him or like, no, honey, you doing it the wrong way. You should be able to just go have a conversation with your husband and that's it. You don't bring up divorce until it's the last straw. But you know that. You said you're an attorney. So why are you? Why do you keep bringing up, I'm going to divorce you. I'm going to divorce you. I'm going to, like, to him that ain't going to mean shit. It's about 10 other bitches lined up that's just as affluent as you. That's just as rich as you. That's just as pretty as you that are waiting for their turn. So I don't think that throwing up divorce, it seems like you're manifesting that you want, you don't want to do that, love, okay? If you're going to divorce him, then do it. But when y'all argue, stop throwing up, oh, I want to divorce you. Because eventually the man is going to get tired and he's going to say, well, you know what, bitch, fuck you. You can go. Go ahead and get the divorce papers. I'll sign them right now. And then he's going to walk right out the door. Let's try to change the narrative, okay? Stop putting into existence because you're going to manifest that, okay? You have an argument? Fine. You already told him, listen, if I'm not what you want, just tell me. Be honest. If he can't do that, then to hell with him. Then you will have to give get a divorce. If you catch him cheating, you should be divorcing him. Any type of activity, yes. If, if he's cheating. Not because some woman is in his face yelling because the other woman ain't let him in the door. Because... He's dealt with these people before he even met you. He's worked with these women before he even dealt with you or met you. So now that you're in the picture, you're saying, oh, she should, maybe she shouldn't have been all in his face screaming and carrying on like that. Okay, maybe she shouldn't have. But we don't know what the situation is. He told you that she was screaming because he didn't let her in or some shit like that. So stop jumping to such a negative conclusion before you've even had a chance to to get the full script, to get the full story. You hollering about divorce, divorce, divorce. Like, that's not cool at all. That's like a game of chess. And believe you me, <laughs> some of these men will play checkers with you. Okay, you, keep, you kept bringing up divorce every time we argue. Don't no man want to hear that every time they argue about, oh, I want a divorce, I want a divorce. Because he going to be like, okay then, because I can go get me somebody else. Just as rich, just as uh, a doctor, just as affluent as you, boo. Just with a nice bank account, just like you. So who is we fooling out here? Okay? Let's keep it cute. All right? But if he's doing something, remember, whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. If he out there creeping around with ex-employees <laughs> and they confronting him, then it won't be the first time and it won't be the last. So the next time you find out he that happened, then you know if some shit is in the milk ain't clean. Then you're going to know that, okay, something ain't right. This same woman, what's wrong? My hair. Yo, what? My hair. Okay. The next time, um, next time you can go ahead and say, well, you know what? This seems to be a reoccurring issue. And every time you got some excuse as to why these women is up in your face. Because you're only going to be able to pretend for so long. Eventually, he's going to slip up. If he out there doing dirt, he's going to slip up. You don't have to wait to catch him. It's going to come to you. But give him the benefit of the doubt until you, you, you find that. You can't even have no rest and no peace and happiness in your marriage because you're so focused on the past and what he's been out here doing all these years. But he's not doing it now. Give him room to change and give him room to grow and no you can't make him grow up he's gonna be whoever he is 
but give him room, give him a chance without throwing up in his face every time you see him talking to a woman or interacting with a woman that he's sleeping with her or that he's going with her. Give him room to grow. Give him a chance. And that way you guys can grow together. But don't throw up in his face every time that, oh, I'm going to divorce you. I'm rich. I'm successful. I'm this and I'm that. It's like I said, it's 10 other bitches out there in line. That's the same thing you are. And each one will probably get more finer and finer and finer. So all that throwing that stuff up is, is totally irrelevant. Totally irrelevant. Worrying about what other people say and all of that. Obviously, if he married you, this is the new person. But you got to give the person a chance to grow. Now, if he shows you that he's not being the man that you want him to be, then you get rid of his ass. You do what you have to do. But give him a chance first. And once he fucks that chance up, then you can say, well, you know what? Just like when you walk into court with your briefcase. Your mice? Okay, I got the evidence. And now I'm about to lay it on the table. And then we're going to walk up out of here with the victory. Right? You ain't going to go into court half-assing. You're going to go into court with all your evidence stacked up. Exactly. So let's not play that role. You're much smarter than that. You don't have to beg a man to love you or do right by you. Give him a chance. If he's going to hang himself, let him hang himself. If he's not, then let him do right and enjoy your marriage. Enjoy the time without worrying about, oh, if he go out the house, is he cheating? Is he, oh, my God, if he talking to a beautiful woman, is he cheating? You be confident in yourself that you don't have to worry about him doing that. These women out here know about you. They know that he's married. But if you're going to keep throwing it up every day that, oh, I don't want you talking it. Would you want to cage the man in? I'm going to leave it alone. I've said what I had to say. Hi, Jean. Hi, Sonia. Hey, Lashanti. Thank you for joining. So, I'm like I said, I've said what I have to say. And I'm going to leave that alone. All right. I'm going to leave it alone. Now, as far as love and hip-hop, hopefully, Atlanta... Y'all got to give us more than what y'all giving us because these same old people, these stale ass storylines, it's just really getting annoying. Okay. It, I mean, y'all ain't even trying. And then you got people on there who don't even, ain't got no storyline. They're just on there every season, popping up, reoccurring with the same drama, the same issues. Okay. Give us more. And every season... You got everybody getting married. You got everybody getting rings. I mean, can we get somebody to write a better script? Please. It's just getting to be out of control or in control. Too much in control. Okay, I know it's not like the baddies or Now That's TV or Zeus Network. I'm not saying that. that you got to get down and dirty like that. But you got some of these people with the same storyline as five to ten years ago. And... There's no progression. They're just on there. I don't get it. Help. All right. Hey, C.A. Jarrett. Hello. Hello. And so, yeah, please give us something fresh. We, the viewers, deserve that. Give us something new. We're, we're tired of seeing the same shit. Okay? I know I am. I can speak for the audience, I'm sure. Okay? All right. Oh, congratulations to Sierra. I think she got married as well. A couple of weeks ago from love and hip-hop so congratulations on your marriage okay um i hope everything works out for you i know she has her restaurant she's been on here hustling every night doing her cooking with ghetto girl eat so i admire that about her that she is on here she does have other shit going on outside of the show okay i know her and spice do pretty much uh have other things going on and she be hustling and cooking and bustling on TikTok here. So guys, go over and support her. Okay? And um, I do admire that. Because I, when I scroll, sometimes I see her. And I'm like, damn, girl. <laughs> I'll be like, damn, girl. <laughs> hey, pretty and pink. Hey, lovely Nella. Hey, Barbara. I'll be like, damn, girl. You be on here day and night with your cooking and getting your sauces. And, but... 
she's an entrepreneur. We got to hustle and bustle like that, you know. She isn't just letting that show just take over her whole life. She's also making other ends meet. She's also doing what she has to do. And I admire that about her, okay? Now, she's not my favorite person on the cast. And I know a lot of it's scripted and made up. I know that. I'm not a fool. I wasn't born yesterday, okay? But I did, I do like that about her, okay? Now, I'm not saying I like her personality and all of that. But I do like the fact that I see her grinding and hustling on Instagram and on here with her recipes and her cooking. Everybody ain't going to give you credit for when you're doing what you do. They'll come and spy and they'll come and watch you so they can go laugh and talk. But they're not going to support you because they want you to stop. But just a PSA to my haters, I'm never going to stop. And I'm not going to stop. Okay? You better be lucky I'm reporting it because I'm going to tell you the real truth. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Barbara. All right, all right. Y'all like my little queen of hearts, okay? So, um, yeah, y'all. I mean, you know, I don't really have anything more to say tonight, you know. Um, you know, with basketball wise, and it'd be late. I'd be getting out here so late, and I'd be tired. I don't have really anything else to say about basketball wise, you know. And um, oh. I did get a DM the other day, I told you guys, and they wanted me to review some more shows. And this one I'm interested to see. I think it was, um, I forgot. I think it was The Real Wives of Dubai. Hi, Terrence. Hi, Winnie. Oh, yeah. Now, I think that's going to be a good show this fall. So I am very, very interested to see that. The Real Housewives of Dubai. So that one is on my list okay that one is on my list all right now i know i did get an email the other day about why don't i do why am i not talking about real housewives of atlanta and i'll say it again i don't watch it okay i think the last time i was really watching that was back when let me shut up Back when, <laughs> back when Portia dragged somebody off the stage was when I watched that. I think back then, um, and no, I think when Phaedra left the show, even though she wasn't like a favorite, she still added a little spice to it. You know, Phaedra can get a little smart sometimes. Um, hi, humble. Hi, section. Hi, Miss Peggy. So, um. I have not watched it. I have not watched it since then, okay? But um, when they took Nene off, it's like when you take certain people off the show. And I know everybody can't be on the show forever. But apparently some people can because you keep reusing the same people. So why can't you guys put them back? Why can't you guys put Nene back on? And why can't you put Phaedra back on? Like the original cast and where it, where it all started from. You know, it's been a couple of years. These girls should have matured by now. Let's go ahead and give it another go. You know what I mean? Hi, Trish. Hi, John. Why not let's give it another go? Okay, let's get Nene Luke's back on the show. But then they said, oh, Nene got too big-headed. Nene started acting out. Well, that's what we want. We want that flavor. You know, certain personalities shine and certain ones don't. And... For me, Nene was one of the ones who really, really stuck out. You know, she, she didn't bite her tongue. She definitely was going to let you know what time it was. Phaedra as well. She was a little sweet, nasty, but I still Mommy. liked her attitude. Those are some of the people that we need to bring back up. Okay, all these new people and what y'all trying to add in, you're never going to get the views because you're not giving us the same, the same vibe. And I'm sorry. And Nene, don't be acting all stuck up if they offer you a contract. Talking about, oh, I need more money. I need, okay, let's just do it for, let's just go ahead and do it. You know, come on. Hey, Mr. Gemini. Hey, John. Hey, Ping. Hey, Big Daddy. All right, so let's get some of the old cast back. You know, I used to watch Mary to Medicine faithfully. Y'all, that was my show. But the only reason it was my show was because Mariah was on it. 
her personality, her spunk, her flavor. You got all these women on there and none of them amount to one woman, her personality. And they've tried, they've tried to, to you know, bring other people on, just like Toya on Mary De Medicine. I love her personality. And no, it's not because she got into an altercation with Mariah, but nine times out of the 10, she's gonna speak her mind. That's what we need, okay? If you're gonna be showing us black women on here, at least show the strong ones, okay? At least show the ones who are not afraid to speak their mind and give their input, okay? So I love that, it was a perfect combination. And then when they made up, it was great. But we need some of the old cast back. Can you guys take us back? Because this new stuff that you guys are giving us is not really, you got all these other shows to compete with now, okay? And it's just losing its flavor and it, it, it's just losing its flavor. I mean, I know that after a while, I can pretty much predict that in about two to three years, Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, if it keeps on going the way that it's going with the same cast, and I'm not saying everybody has to go, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, come on now. There's a few of them on there who give us a good, who spunk it up, who make it happen. And then you got those ones who, They're falling short. They're not really giving us a storyline. You know, it's just the same thing every season, every season. We want more, damn it. Or, or the people that are on there, give us more. Okay? We know y'all acting and all of that. And you're trying to get other opportunities. And that's what you're supposed to do. Branch out and get other opportunities. That's perfect. But can you guys give us a little bit more? Can you do just a little bit more without just saying, oh, because I'm on there? Because you can go get 10 new people to replace that cast. Some of them, I'm not saying all of them, and I'm not going to name names. So don't try to get me on here to, to name names because I'm not going to do that. Okay? Just give us more. That's all we're asking. And if you got to write off other people's shine, then you shouldn't be on there if you don't have a good storyline. You should be able to have something to talk about or something that's interesting going on in your life without just being on a show just to be there okay we want more that's all hey jeweler hey jenny we want more damn it the people say we want more then damn it we want more all right so we'll be i'll be anticipating that as long as with the other followers and other people that watch these shows because yes. listen we don't have to watch it and if, let me tell you something if we decide that we want to go and on strike and not watch this shit anymore and have each other's backs you motherfuckers won't be getting paid you guys know what they did to old kim k and made her follow comp go down and went you know we can be vicious when we want to be vicious okay but I just want more. I don't want anybody to lose their jobs. I don't want anybody to not get paid. We're just asking for a little bit more. Give us something to entertain us, okay? Give us give us the tea. We don't want to hear about the same stuff over and over every season. And then a, a fake blow up fight with nobody who's actually doing anything but just talking every time. It's getting old and we know it's scripted. We want more, give us real reality tv okay put your money where your mouth is okay because if not we can turn the channel and we can watch something else that's gonna give us what we want okay when we've worked our goddamn day and we want to come on with a, a nice cup of coffee and watch our shows and then you guys up here with the same bullshit every week okay no i don't want to see it i'll turn it and i'll watch something else or i'll go pay zeus network and watch their shit or whatever every other station that i can watch that's gonna come out with a show exactly like you guys so don't get too big-headed over there remain grounded and just give us a little bit more that's all we're asking and that's all i'm asking okay and those know, that know they know and for those that i'm talking about and you know who i'm talking about search yourself and figure out who i'm talking about Okay, I don't name names because I'm not trying to embarrass anybody and it's just an opinion and it's my fucking opinion. Okay, not that the world has to agree with me, but I guarantee you most people will agree with me. 
because we're tired of the same shit and we want to see more and we know that half the storylines are fake and if that shouldn't be hard to make if, if you're pretending and half of the storylines are fake why is it that you guys are not putting out better i won't even say content better uh shows i'm confused hi Thay. hey james hey lovely so i'm a little confused okay i'm a little confused all right well um i did say congratulations to cardi last week i think you guys she did have a new baby so congratulations a new birth is always a wonderful thing always wonderful all right um i think that's it for tonight y'all i'm beat i'm exhausted and i don't really want to talk anymore <laughs> So I don't really want to talk anymore tonight, y'all. Do you guys have any questions, any viewers? James, Zay, Lovely, um, Rita, EXP, thank you guys for joining. Big Daddy, thank you guys for joining. Appreciate you guys. So you guys let me know um, if you're with me on this because, you know, we want some changes. I, I, don't even, I haven't even gone to Love & Hip Hop Miami. I'm so focused on what we got going on here you know but i'll get that way soon you see what i'm saying but i don't watch it so i've always found the atlanta crew to be a little interesting you know when they do give us you know a little tea but now it's just like you can pretty much predict what's gonna happen on the next season or the next show who's gonna be arguing and who's gonna i mean come on come on honey we need some more you guys gotta help us out you got new shows coming out every day. Mona, can you hear me, girl? We got new shows coming out every day, y'all. We need some more tea, okay? All right. We need more. We need more. We need more. <laughs> we need more. We need more. All right? And I've already announced last week of the couple of shows that I did hear that were coming out. And, um... okay so that's pretty much it for tonight's rundown y'all i mean they've got the diddler i hope if they let them out then people are gonna be scared honey but um i don't know y'all this is just one of many one of many hi ruby thanks for joining this is one of many y'all and hopefully there's many more to come um because like i said Whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. You don't have to go looking for information. You don't have to go seeking anything out. It will come to you, okay? And this is one of the examples of being patient and letting stuff come to you, okay? You ain't gonna get away with that old diddler. You gotta pay the piper now. It's a lot of them gonna be crying because they have to pay the piper now, okay? It's a lot of them gonna be crying because they have to pay. Their money ain't gonna save them. I just told y'all that the other day that their money is not going to save them. Okay? Their money is not going to save them. That shit is a thing of the past. Okay? Whenever the world find out what you've been out here doing. That money, child. Mm -mm. Y'all so going to find out about some real pigs out here. Real disgusting people. Okay? And like I said... These people have been being watched for a long time. So believe you me, the evidence they have is rock solid. Solid as a rock, I can't tell Hey, Grandma. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to always do me. I've always been different. I've been the leader of my own pack. I make my own destiny. I do what I have to do. You know, a lot of people don't agree with what I have, what I do, and that's their business. Because if I was to do what they wanted me to do, I'd be nowhere. I'd have nothing. Okay? So, keep that in mind that you will lose friends. You will lose family. You will lose a lot. But you have to keep going on your path to succeed. You cannot let people deter you. Because they don't have the dreams that you have. So, they'll mock you. They'll laugh. You know what I mean? Because they, they, they don't have the balls to do what you do. So remain strong. Remain effortless. 
and continue to grow and evolve every day, y'all. All right. Hi, this and that. Hey, low carb cooking. Y'all, this oil got me shining, honey. I look like a copper motherfucking penny. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Let it show. Let it show. Come on, y'all. All right, y'all. So, I will talk to you guys later. I got to go do my prayer. Y'all know I'll be praying every night, honey, because there's some wicked people out here and... I make sure that the good Lord keep them from around me and away from me. Okay? So may, make sure y'all praying. Staying prayed up. Because he's the man that makes everything happen. Alright? I will talk to you guys later. Take care. And thanks for liking the live, guys. Bye-bye.